Our ultimate goal is to make our table view dynamic. We don't want to just show two sections with three or two cells. That's pretty boring. A common way of doing this is to use an NS array. Each table view cell is matched to an object in an array. Let's change our UI table view to reinforce this thinking. Now we're going to show our table view with one section and each cell will display a planet's name. We're going to go to our header file for our table view controller and we're going to add a property. We can write at property strong non-atomic and we're going to make this an NS mutable array and we can call this planets. Next go to OW outer space view table view controller and we're going to go to the view did load method and we're going to go ahead and we're going to initialize our array so we can say self.planets is equal to and this mutable array, alloc, in it. And let's go ahead and create some planets. So we're going to write and a string. We write like planet 1 is equal to Mercury. And let's add a few more planets. So let's do and a string planet 2 is equal to Venus. And we can do and a string planet three is equal to Earth, and a string planet four is equal to Mars, and a string planet five is equal to Jupiter, and we can do planet six is equal to Saturn. And we'll do planet 7 is equal to Uranus. And finally, we can do planet 8 is equal to Neptune. Now let's add all these planets to our array. So I'm going to go ahead and do self.planets, ah, lowercase, uh, add object. And we can add planet 1 self.planets add object planet 2 self.planets add object planet 3 self.planets add object planet 4 self.planets add object planet 5 and we'll just do this all the way down And we're almost there. There we go. That's one planet eight. All right. So now our array has all of our planet objects inside of it. And now we're going to go to self row at index path. And we're going to change our text label here. So we're going to remove our previous format string. And we're going to instead write self.planets object at index and we'll say index path dot row because we know that index path dot row returns rows back to us uh, and it returns integers for when we access the property row and in this case we can index into our array of objects we can get an object back from our planets array and we can set that equal to our text label text property there's one other thing we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to change the number of sections to one. And we can go ahead and run our application. So now we see Mercury, Venus, and Earth print out to uh, our table view. We see that we now have this text inside of our cells. But we only have three planets. So how do we fix this? Well. There's one really cool way that we can do this to make this dynamic, and we can do this finding the number of objects in our array using the count method, which returns an integer. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into the number of rows. So we're going to remove the previous code we wrote here, and we're going to write self dot planets count, which returns an integer. But because this is an NS integer return, we have to return this number. So we can return 
the count of the number of elements in our array so that the number of cells will be equal to the number of objects that we added to our array. So now we can go ahead and run our application again and we'll be able to see that we now have all of our planet names printing out properly to our table view. To make sure that we understand what's going on here conceptually, remember that our NS mutable array of planets is our model. We're using our OW space object table view controller as our messenger, which takes our model and displays and updates the view or our table view object with the data.